we are actually heading to Virginia today for this toy show. And I think they have comics too, but yeah, mainly, mainly the toys. Going to check out uh, all the vintage stuff that they have. And it's put on by Inside Pitch Promotions. And of course, you see my past videos with different toy shows with them. And they do it all the time. So let's go. Here it is. It's about 55 degrees. It's not too bad. I'm wearing short sleeves. And how'd you like that uh, ride through the mountains <laughs> with that fog? It was crazy. Um, yeah, very, very thick. I've been there many times going through those mountains. And yeah, you get, especially in the morning, you'll get a lot of thick fog. So let's go in here and see what they have. It's $4 admission, which is pretty much everywhere when you go to an inside pitch promotion show. Yeah, this should be fun. And Jimmy Valiant's here today. Great guy. I love talking to him. But he's at a lot of the different shows here. I just want to show the inside of these, all these vendors here. We got a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, we're looking for a few things today. Kind of do a walk around here. Got your Hot Wheels and Matchbox, of course. And going down this way, we also have uh, sports cards here. But lots of cars, Hot Wheels, figures, wrestling figures. Just slowly making our way through. All oh, the talk is there. Check that out. That's pretty neat. Might have to go through those. I love the talk. It's always all kinds of cool die cast right there. Oh, I love that double decker right there. That's pretty cool. It's got comic book chair too. Got models. Yeah, I'm kind of cutting back on the uh, pops for a while there. Got graded comic book chair too. Uh, very nice. Yeah, you got Nintendo stuff here, like these figures you put on the wall or in your office or in your game room. You also got different NFL teams here. That's pretty neat. And check out these vintage guns right here. That old machine gun. I think I used to have something like that eons ago. Tommy Burst. Mattel's Tommy Burst right there. That's neat. Let's open that up and see what the box looks like. 375 for him. Oh, wow. Looks like it comes with a revolver, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's three, 375. I mean, that, that box is in great shape. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, we're going to look around. All these different booths. Got some old lunch boxes here, too. Check these out. Western theme. And the thermo thermoses right there that go with them. That's nice. Take Mad Max, his shotgun right there. That's cool. Oh, there's a Pirates of the Galaxy he's right there. He's 225. Man, they're going up a price. This is wild. King Kong figures here. That's from the Peter Jackson version of King Kong. Got all these different thermostats right here. Yeah, these are cool. Look at these models, too. Oh, check out these Outer Limit figures here. Those are neat. Very nice Twilight Zone. And I don't mind the Lucy's. Yeah. Okay. I, I've got tons of Lucy's. Um, you save money when you buy the Lucy figures too. So like these guys, these Spawn figures and McFarlane figures here. These are cool. Look at that one there. That's pretty neat. Kind of a Medusa look. And 350 for him. Yeah, I'm looking at G.I. Joe stuff today as well. I've got these guys right here, but I can't believe that they're all, they're way back in 1996. 
Yeah, I've got them. I didn't know it was that far back. <laughs> That's crazy. Now look at this spawn right here. He's pretty cool. I love the wings. That's pretty impressive. Now he always has a great uh, table right here. A lot of March toys. And check out these figures here. The old army man right there. Oh, look at the Noid too here. The water <laughs> balloon set. That's pretty cool. So cool. Look at that old holster right there. Nice. Now this table here, he's got an impressive amount of toys to look at. Very cool. Look at those. Check these guys out right here. 25 for Spock. And we see McCoy. They're both 25. Those are in great shape too. He's got all kinds of Hot Wheels. But I'm just looking at all the Lucy's here. He's got a bunch of them. And magazines. It's like all kinds of miscellaneous Marvel. All kinds of figures right here. I'm just kind of go through them. Oh, he's got the Beetlejuice. You have to see how much he's going for. He is 15. Over right there is a maybe. Because I don't think I have him in the Lucy form. So, yeah, we might have to get him. Yeah. Got a bunch of He-Man over there, too. And vintage Star Wars right here. So, I picked up a Beetlejuice and Pirates of Dock water figure. But, yeah, he's got tons of Lucy's on this table. So, if you want to save money on uh, figures, the Lucy's are the way to go. But he's got all kinds here. Got Power Rangers down there. Um, there's Legolas right there. Tons of Star Wars figures too. So, yeah. Oh, look at this right here. Alien vs. Predator. Still in the box. He's got him for 40. But slowly but surely, we'll go through all these uh, Lucy's. So like this, be sure to go through these bins right here. Uh, you will find little treasures in there, but he's got all kinds of cool miscellaneous figures on here. Uh, check him out. Scare Glow. Very cool. Dragon Heart. Yeah, we'll go through all these too. Lots to choose from. And that's a cool G.I. Joe diorama of Iwo Jima right there. That's really neat. I like that. Love these old tractors here. They've got the uh, cart, pulling the cart there too. Those are neat. Uh, Robbie Robot, I do have him. And you also got Robot, the new one from Lost in Space. So some comic books here too. Look at the Simpsons. <laughs> that's pretty cool right there. And uh, oh, he's got the new Planet of the Apes. They're all, let's put it this way, the most recent Planet of the Apes figures right here. And the dolls. A lot of Star Wars stuff here. Yeah, just tons and tons of Star Wars. All through here. More He-Man. Yeah, lots of He-Man. And look at this. Right there. 78 Trans Am. That's the Bandit's car right there. Actually, it might be a 77. Yeah, and he's got tons of miscellaneous stuff here for your G.I. Joes and action figures. He's also got the suits there too. I might have to go through this. He's got some really good prices right here. Also got Marks right here. Very cool. Yeah, we'll have to go through that. And then more figures. G.I. Joes here. Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff. This is a guy I got the Beetlejuice from. Then more of the Black Series figures. So cool. So after sifting through all these, I did find a couple of Navy hats I wanted to pick up. He's also got the, the different weapons that G.I. Joe carried, but he didn't have any of the Army ball caps I was looking for, but he's got great prices on their uh, different uniforms here. And here's some more cool accessories right here, and uh, bob wire, cool. But he's got new and old, he's got vintage, like over here, he's got the vintage ones right there. That's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, just slowly going through. He's got hats here, but these are kind of the newer versions that they, they make right now. And this booth here has loads of Transformers right here. Uh, check them all out. He's got some Legends too. He's got some of the old Toy Biz Marvel figures. Yeah, these are neat for Batman, G.I. Joe, and look at these Superman figures right here. They're cool. And there's Blake right there in the blue tank top. He's got a cool store. We've covered his store before. But here's his table. He's come up here to set up. And I'm going to go through his stuff too. He always has some great figures, uh, open figures too. And he's got great prices too. 
tons of He-Man figures all along here. Then he's got the, uh, uh, the Star Wars figures, and he's got the Black Series here. Check out the Slave One right there. He's got this one here with the Luke and the uh, Land Speeder for 60, and he's got this uh, right here, the Sideshow right there, of oh, the Rebel uh, Indoor Trooper right there. And there's McFarlane DC figures here. So yeah, we're gonna check out his table and uh, maybe we'll find something. And I love these old Hot Wheels cases. 24 cars each. I always love the artwork on these. They're beautiful. And these are from, from the late 60s, early 70s. And sometimes they'll have the date there. This is, actually this one is 1967 right there. These are really neat here. From Exquisite Minis right here. It's the Alien set. Check these out. These are so cool. Nice. And this is a nice find right here. The Centurions with all their gear. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's I, I bought both of those figures, but without their gear. And I am now looking for it. So that's cool that they have them here with their gear on. You got a great selection of board games here. Check that out. The Monster Squad right there. Yeah, all these vintage games. Cool titles, great titles. Very nice. And there's Alien game right there. Look at that for 35. And I just love the artwork on this one, the Monster Squad. Very cool. And that's for 50. It's in great shape too. I love this. And look at all these Mythic Legion figures right here. Very nice. Oh, I like, I like that Goblin right there. These are so cool. Got these over here too. And yeah, I don't own one Mythic Legion figure yet, but uh, I'm just scared to go down that rabbit hole. But they are awesome figures. And he's got all kinds of G.I. Joes here. But these are more of the newer versions of G.I. Joe. But they're pretty cool if you want to get collecting the newer ones. But look for these guys. Get them in the blisters and in the boxes. I'm really into the 64 to 76, I believe, is when they stopped making the vintage ones. And, uh, yeah, those are the ones that I like collecting. But that, he's got a pretty impressive uh, selection here of G.I. Joes. More Transformers. And a little bit of He-Man mixed in there. Right there. So got some of the Spider-Man figures here from the Spider-Man set from Marvel, from Hasbro. Those are great right there. And some really cool uh, die cast right here. Those are nice. I, I love the old Texaco trucks. That's pretty cool right there. That uh, Mustang cop car, state trooper car right there. He's 25. And Mike picked up a piece for his collection. His, that's your private collection, right? Private collection, yeah. And tell the people what this is. This is the Ewok Battle Wagon. It is complete. I'm a completist. Right. The last vehicle I needed. The last piece to my Kenner collection. Man, that is that's pretty cool. You picked it up. Right here in uh, Hill is it Hillsdale, Hillsdale we're in? Yeah, yeah. Hillsdale, that's yeah. pretty crazy that you found that here. Yep. That is so cool. Yep. So yeah, this is Mike's booth right here. And Star Wars toys right here. He's got tons of vintage stuff and new stuff. Look at all this. Star Wars goodness. And look at all the ships he has down here too. A lot of good Black Series figures as well. And there's the Death Star. Check it out. There's an English version, and then there's the American version, which is this one. But, of course, you can get it in England, too. Um, but look at all these. Still in the box. Very nice. Look at all the vintage ones here. And they're well-priced, too. Not too bad. You know, like Rebel Soldier here. Vintage. Um, that's, um, what's his name? From Cheers. <laughs> if you remember his name, I can't remember his name, but, that, but that's definitely it's his figure, for sure. Um, oh, look, there's Boba Fett for 75 and you also get Han and Carbonite. But he's got some really cool stuff. And check this one for 325. And look at the look, he's got different color hair. He's got the yellow hair and he's got the brown hair. Ewok Village, of course the famous Adat -Ad right here. And the ATST right there. The little guy right here with two feet, but yeah. I used to have a bunch of those. I had like three Adats at one time. And there's Jabba at the palace right there. Play set. And of course, Snow Speeder. Yeah, he's got them all. Look at these right up here. In the transporter at the very top. And of course, you're going to have Barbies. And these are still in their boxes. So you've got to look carefully. 
even, even in these boxes here, you gotta look carefully as well. Let's get the Zorro. Let's see what that is. Uh, check him out. That's pretty cool. I like just really different stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I'll get this guy too, the Joker in his pirate outfit. Got the Riddler. Look at all these. Got Duck Dynasty bobbleheads. <laughs> all kinds of die cast. More Barbies here. Got Electra right there. That's pretty cool. Let's go around and see what she looks like. There she is. It's a Barbie Electra. That's pretty cool. I mean, the die casts are great. I mean, I've got plenty of die casts, but definitely if you come to the show, you'll find tons of die casts for your collection. Got the trucks here, too. Very nice. And he's got the Star Trek Pez. Check out these vintage piggy banks. Those are cool. Allenhurst National Bank and Trust. That's pretty awesome. And they're, they're real metal, too. Those are pretty cool. I love the ship on there, too. And you got the airplane on top. Looks like you pull it back, hit the button, and it looks like it's flying off. That's pretty neat. And these model kits of the Enterprise are pretty cool, too, from AMT. Those are nice. Looks like they have uh, just about uh, all different versions right there. Looks like a three right there. That's pretty cool. And here's another cool clutter case. And this one's from Matchbox right here. Yeah, I love these. It's from England, and it's 1968 when that was made. Well, I did find something, die-cast-wise. This old Flash Gordon ship right here, and it was made in Japan. I'm not sure on the date. I'll have to look it up, but I thought it was just pretty cool. It was Flash Gordon. Like the anime, but these two guys look awesome. It's a small show, but uh, they've got a lot of great vendors here with a great variety of items for sale. I picked up a few things. Yeah, this is a really fun little show. And here's something you don't see much of, and I've got a bunch of these. These are the homies. I don't know if you remember those little miniatures. That's <laughs> very cool. They actually go great if you have the Hot Wheel cars and stuff to that scale. Yeah. The old homies. I love this old Lauren Hardy in an old Willie Jeep right there. That's pretty cool. And then also you've got this uh, Dennis the Menace crash helmet still in the box. The old Mattel Buffalo Hunter set right there with a the rifle. The old Winchester. That's pretty cool. So I wanted to thank you for joining me here in Hillsville, Virginia for this cool little toy show. And yeah, it's cool seeing some of the wrestlers here. Well, Jimmy Valiant was here. So, uh, 
cool to see him. He's always at the uh, Inside Pitch Promotion toy shows. So be sure to see him, get a picture with him. And uh, it's a lot of fun coming here to these shows. So thanks a lot. We're going to head home now. The sun's out. And hopefully it won't be as foggy as it was when we came up. All right, guys. You take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.